everybody welcome back to the kitchen with Mike and Lisa so tomorrow we're gonna have a family dinner and I'm gonna make pasta yes when we got our sausage Italian sausage back from the um, people that we used what's it called butcher yeah the butcher or the processor yeah, yeah. Um, we did order some breakfast sausage and some um, Italian sausage we went to their place and bought some breakfast sausage that they had there to try it and see what, if we liked it. And then um, they didn't have any Italian sausage when we went. No. So um, we went ahead and ordered it though. I like my sausage in casings. Um, sometimes I'll eat Italian sausage ground and depending on what I'm fixing. But um, for the most part, I like mine in casings. So what we're going to do is, or what Mike's going to do, <laughs> I should say. Um, we're going to decase these, and he has his own blend that he wants to make. And then for his birthday, I bought him a sausage maker that um, goes onto our KitchenAid. So he's going to actually take uh, nine pounds of sausage that we have here. We're going to decase it. He's going to make his own blend, and he's going to recase it. Yeah. Does that make all sense? Makes Does that all make sense? sense? Okay. And the reason we're doing this is the, the flavor is weak it uh, is as far as the seasonings go in the the butcher's blend so uh we want something with a, just a little bit more italian flavoring in it yeah yeah agreed i think everybody that's tried it has agreed on that so. yeah it's just it's just i mean it's the meat's good the yeah the meat's really good i mean it's our pig the flavor is good but it's just really weak really it weak. loses itself i mean we in thought a sauce or yeah anything like exactly that, it becomes pork yeah you know we thought maybe you know cooking it in the sauce no it still yeah. it still just wasn't all that great so we're just gonna peel these casings off hopefully i guess i need a, some type of dish to put those casings on yeah just a bowl yeah and uh well folks i got nine pounds worth of this to uh decay so uh we'll bring you back when we're done yeah <laughs> we'll get this going and we'll be back so nine pounds of sausages have been decased yep. <laughs> it wasn't too bad it, it actually went really fast so yeah, went all fast. right so now mike is going to um give you our ingredients as he puts them into the He's going to put it into a grinder first. We just use this coffee grinder. I use it when I dehydrate um, garlic and onions and stuff like that. Yeah, because if you're using like whole seeds or whatever, like fennel seeds instead of ground fennel or whole coriander seeds instead of ground coriander, uh, just help grind them up. Uh, so the things we need to grind up, we're going to have two tablespoons of fennel seed. And this again is for, you know, about nine pounds worth of meat or so coriander's already ground so we don't need to regrind it but we want everything mixed together as we throw it up there so might as well get that done we're going to do two teaspoons he made this recipe for us um and tweaked it to our tasting and it was really, really good. Very tasty. Now, and of course, you know, when you first set up the recipe and you mix it in with your meat, just take a little bit of your ground meat with the seed, fry it up, try it, and then adjust it. And, yeah, because, you know, everybody's taste buds are different. We're on the basil. Yep, so one tablespoon of basil. Heavy tablespoon. Of basil. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And of course, that's going to be our fresh. What we can use fresh, we do. Pack it in there. Okay. I don't think it needs one more leaf. <laughs> uh, next is going to be oregano. Oregano. So we're going to have one tablespoon of oregano. And again, you know, if you're using leaf, uh, be it fresh or dry, I mean, you know, pack it in there. Yeah. You make sure you get enough of that flavor. If you drop a couple, guess what? Yeah. They go in the mix too. Because rules is rules. Because rules is rules. Yep. All right, we're going to do the red pepper flakes. And we're going to do Korean red pepper flakes just because I like them a lot. Yes, for some reason. Very great, right? Yeah. 
So that's one teaspoon? Yes. Hotter, you know, if you want it hotter, feel free to go with more. Uh, but one. Yeah, I'm not a, I don't like spicy Italian sausage. Yeah, I can deal with like mild or sweet. Again, these like have that. a much different spice to it, but still, you know, one teaspoon of pepper flake is going to be plenty yeah. for us. Yeah, yup. You do you? Um, let me get you the salt. All right, got three tablespoons of salt. Gotta be salty, right? Yes. My goodness, puppies. <laughs> All right. And then one tablespoon of pepper. And I, I didn't make that up. That's what you have written down. Uh, you sure? <laughs> I'm you sure, sure it wasn't two tablespoons. I'm positive. <laughs> <laughs> This should have grabbed the peppercorns. Oh, yeah, I could have. That's fine. We got it right here. Yep. Pepper. She let me put black pepper in it, folks. He would have put it in anyway. I would have. <laughs> Paprika, Paprika, one tablespoon. One big old tablespoon. Now you could throw, you know, if you want that smoky flavor in your Italian sausage, you can throw in smoked paprika. Uh, we kind of like a more sweetish style, so we're just going to do our regular paprika. regular paprika. Might have to talk a little louder because of these animals in this house. Goodness, gravy! <laughs> we're having that. All right, so after paprika comes two tablespoons of sugar. Sugar. Which I already had um, measured out. Oh, yeah, you did. Yeah, I did. Yeah, we'll just throw that right yeah. in there. Two tablespoons of grated garlic. Now, when I do my homemade garlic powder, I used to just do it raw. But now I roast the garlic and then dehydrate it to make the powder out of. Oh, it's to die for. World of different it, flavors. Yeah. Doesn't have that bite. You know, it's just, it just seems so smooth. Yeah. We're going to need a bigger grinder. Maybe uh, we should have ground them all separate. Maybe. Um, and then mix them in a bowl. The zest of orange. Yep, we got it right there. We're not going to throw it in the grinder yeah. because that'll just create a mess. Uh, so, yeah, it's just, just the zest of one orange. Or um, I also dehydrate oranges sometimes. Yep. And um, the last time he made it, we just used that and just grind it up. And it, it's it's perfect to have. And if you don't have fresh oranges in the house, you can always have dehydrated oranges. Yep. Um, and that's and then for the spices, we need right? No, we need the parsley. Oh, that's right. I need a third And it's going to be a third parsley. of a cup. That's not going to fit in there. Mm, let's, uh, yeah. let's grind this up and see what happens. That's a load for this little Yeah, thing. that is a load. She char charged the batteries on it. <laughs> Putting it to work. Just gonna start sprinkling it, and if I see any big chunks or something like that, I'm gonna stop, flip it around a little bit. Oop. I think that would be good. It looks fine. I'm gonna go ahead and chunk in the parsley. The parsley. We'll see how that mixes in together with it. Okay. <laughs> Get every I don't little bit. Lose that flavor. No. And the first one went down. You guys, if y'all had smell a vision. Right? Alright, I'm gonna start mixing this up because we've got about half in there. Sounds good. And we're going to need to add a half a cup of white wine also. And we just, um, this one's 
just a Chardonnay. Um, we don't actually usually buy cooking wines. We'll just, you know, buy some dry or whatever, um, Chardonnay or Pinot Grigio or something like that. Yeah, just a white. For our cooking. Yeah, you want to sprinkle the rest of that and the orange and the wine in there? I can. Thank you. You want me to do all of this? Yeah. Okay. And the zest. Oops. You're good. You're good. Alright, here goes the one. My hands are frozen. Yeah, the meat is really cold. Amazon, so we can link that below for you. All right, so this is what it looks like when it comes out of the package. So now, what are you doing to it? Um, we're gonna soak it. I'm just separated. I'm trying to get uh, casings that are uh, about six foot or so, because we're gonna need three, about eighteen foot for nine pounds oh, wow. worth of meat. So yeah, each sausage link is gonna be about six inches, and we should get about four per pound. Uh, this is a 32 millimeter casing. And the casing size is important. It does matter. <laughs> it does matter. <laughs> size matters in this case. Because when I got him his the kit for his birthday, I wanted him to have the casings too so he could start playing with it, you know. And so the, when he made the original uh, batch of this for us to try and everything, they were about that <laughs> Bad around because of the casings I bought. Yeah, they were like a 43, 45 millimeter. Uh, you know, maybe for like for Bluefurst or something like that. Uh, Not for this. I didn't even know they came in different sizes. Yeah. I thought, you know, you just hold and stretch, stretch them to them the side. Stretch them what you want. want. Yeah. Nope. Yeah. So, so, yeah. Anyway. Yeah, so they, it comes on a ring. It's packed in salt. Uh, just take out what you need, stick it back in there, add some more salt. And, uh, and then last, it'll keep, yeah. They'll last for a long time. All right. So just got to rinse them. We got to soak them, let them reconstitute. They're kind of dehydrated, you know. Uh, and then we got to rinse them real good, or we're going to have some super salty yeah. no. uh, Italian sausage. We don't want that. No. All right, so we're going to get that done, and we'll be back. We'll get this back into the fridge, let it sit in there about 15 minutes. This has got to soak for 15 minutes, so that ought to chew, chill the meat back down. Perfect. We'll see you back shortly. Okay, so now we're going to do this live for you guys, folks, okay? <laughs> He's used it once before, so. Yeah, this is my second time yeah. doing this. Give him a little grace. Yep. Get, let him get the feel of it. All you professional sausage makers out there, you know, <laughs> don't don't snub on me too hard. But okay. Yeah. All right, so we're you. Gonna uh, fun. So, <laughs> this is going to be fun. Yeah, so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna fill the tube full of meat. That way you're not pushing air into the case. And once we get that done, we'll turn the machine off and then we're gonna lube the, the uh, tube up, slide our casing on, tie a knot in it, and start feeding it. And you're starting with how many feet? Like three foot. Just, just <laughs> to start so that he can get the feel of it and everything. Yeah, I don't wanna have to dangle Six foot worth of sausage out here. Across the kitchen, I'll be holding sausage. Yeah, three foot would be pretty, pretty good. So, okay. Yeah, so. Wish us luck. Yeah. <laughs> Where's my starter? And we will link the um, KitchenAid attachment. So it's, it's a grinder and also a stuffer. Okay. 
it's at almost at the tip. It's at the tip. Alright, it's peeking out at us. It's peeking. <laughs> Alright, so now we're going to uh I should just use this as a lube. I don't know if that'd be sticky enough. I don't know. The oil's Slick a enough. Yeah. I'm probably not. I say put a little bit on. Yeah, it. we're gonna ease. Hey! <laughs> My lord woman. <laughs> okay. Uh, I could mess some stuff up. That's fine, it's all good. Now, now, yeah, now I gotta find. So I did uh, look up our old ones that we used the first time were 43 millimeter and these are 32 millimeter. 32 millimeter is about an inch and a quarter. And that's kind of what's recommended for uh, bratwurst, Italian sauces, stuff like that. And you can get all kinds of different sizes. The stuffer part, the machine, uh machine or whatever not the machine anyway came with two different sausage stuffing sizes and we're going with the larger one right now yeah i figure it'll be i think better. these would be for like little sausages like, I think like you know like the little sausages. breakfast sausages maybe kind even of thin. hot dogs you know if you make hot dogs or something like that i think that would work better than this you one think so would. yeah yeah i do believe so Tell you what, it's interesting. Yeah. We like stepping out of our comfort zone every now and then. That's right. And we don't want to do it and then be like, okay, look how good we do this. You know, we, we want you to see. Yeah, I mean, some of y'all are going to be trying this for the first time, right? We're all on baby steps until we get a firm grasp on the situation. And then we can move on right. to much larger steps. Right. So, There's nothing wrong with that. Yeah, so all I did was tie a knot in it. They say you can use string, you know, butcher sort of twine or whatever, uh, and tie a knot that way. But Last time he did it like this also by just tying yeah. it. So I'll tell you one thing, though. Getting ground meat in there is tough. Right. Because ours is already ground because it was already sausage. So. Yeah. And it's a pretty fine ground, too. You know, I guess it would be different if you... Do like a medium grind using the the set that the, the different discs that came there. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. We haven't tried it with non ground meat yet, just so yeah, that we'll, might be next. Yeah, time maybe we'll do that next time and kind of see how it goes yeah, doing it with just a, a hunk of meat. Grab a shoulder or a butt yeah. or something like that and chop it down and grind yeah. it ourselves, season it up, and see how that goes. That's true. Yeah. All right, here we go. Moment of truth, guys. Rosin on a bow. <laughs> well, it's definitely making a sausage. And it's definitely not as fat as the ones from what I did or what I had bought. Yep. Yeah. If not, I can grab string. I'm assuming I can just imagine trying to tie a knot when you got 
Yeah. Pork all over your fingers. You want to get some string? Oh, oh, I had it. I don't get lost it. I think I might have stuck a little bit too, too much. Ding, 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 I did. Where did I it go? It. I don't know. I'm get you some paper towel for you. I'm telling you, man, this is slickery. Got her. You got it? There you go. Why don't you wipe your fingers real good? No. I'm going to do this. Looky there. Awesome sauce. <laughs> Big smile. That's awesome. Looks great, babe. Yeah. Might be a little bit thick, though. A little, but I think it, I mean, I don't think it's any thicker than what we just uncased. You don't think so? I don't think so. They were pretty thick. So you're going to tie this into four, you think? Or do you want to weigh it? This set? Well, we'll get a weight on it. All right, let's get a weight. And then we'll figure out how many... Cause we're gonna do about a quarter, about a quarter of a pound per. Yeah, now the ones that we uncased, there was four sausages per pound. Four per pound. Yeah, so let's do this. See what we got. Do, do, do. Come on. There we go. Pound and a half. What? Yeah, that's a pound and a half. That's crazy. One pound yeah. eight ounces, guys. So yeah, I guess it would be a little bit overstuffed. So you could do you could do four to make a pound. So we would have to break. You this. need to break this into five now. Six a pound and a half would be six. Four would be a pound. Two would be half. Oh yeah. So that's six. why he makes the big bucks. Yep. So you would have to do that into so six. I mean, if we did. We did that in half. Then that would be down into thirds. Yes. Yeah. We're just going to have to make them less next time less stuff yes definitely so these will work you know for our first time these will definitely work and he's got the feel of it and he sees so now you can just uh they say such is making is an art i'm not an artist yeah so i think <laughs> i think I overall i think it's great yeah. i just think again that a little bit less filling to make it to where we're just going to put make four out of this yeah but i mean Come on, folks. Can y'all see that? All right, our own snot. Yay! It's going to be so good. All right. So um, we've only got uh, <laughs> seven and a half more times. Oh, time my of goodness. Yes, we do. Thanks. All right, yeah. We will definitely, we're going to get busy on doing this. Yep. And we will definitely bring you, uh oh, this one came undone. I can get it, though. Um. Yeah, so. <laughs> We're going to get busy, and uh, we'll just bring you back when we're almost done and see what we got. Okay, so we've got almost everything done. We're on our last batch, we think. Oh, yeah, we're on our last batch. So, last batch. Um, what we came to the conclusion of, for one, it works better with the both of us. Which Teamwork for the win, folks. <laughs> it always, everything every, always does. Yeah, work trying to keep things. tension on this and trying to feed in there and trying to put, it just doesn't work one person. <laughs> so we decided we're going to do it together and that has worked out beautifully. beautifully. Yeah. And then, so the two, well, no, only one problem we ran into. Two takeaways. We were, uh, we ripped. Probably the second one that we did, we ripped the uh, the casing 
and we come to find out it didn't have enough olive oil or lubrication on the actual doohickey and I shoved it on too tight. I didn't kind of loosen, you know, loosen it up after right, like I had it all. Right, like all of it was pushed back here. Yeah, so it, it, So we think a combination of that, um, both of those is what caused we had two rips that we had to completely start over again. Yeah. So um, we've been lubing a lot better and he's been loosening that up a lot better. And here we go on the last round. Last round. So and then too. what's left, I'll just freeze um, as ground sausage. That was weird. Anywho. Yeah. I yep. think it'll be fine, so. Yep, let me add it. Yep, we'll just tie that off. We'll freeze up the rest of the ground as is and use it. Because um, there are certain things that I do use just the ground, so. Yeah. And don't worry, all these towels and everything will be disinfected. Um, Bleach! From all this <laughs> <laughs> sausage. <laughs> What do you think? Let's get a, yeah, let's get a weight just to see. That's probably a good one, but. Of course, I'll be reweighing them once I package them, too, so I right. can put it on the, uh, you know, the package. Yeah, you know. Yeah, that thing. Go for it. Yeah, a pound. Perfect. All right. All right. All right, he's going to get this one tied off. And then get his hands washed up and everything, and we'll give you a count on what we got. I mean, it, it really did go smoothly. Like I said, we just had that one problem of tearing. Um, yeah. We realized what the problem was. We adjusted to it. And, um, again, we learned that everything works better when we do it together. <laughs> of course, way better <laughs> Always. when you do it together. That's All right. right, we'll be right back. Okay, so. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, that was a feat. Um, it, it wasn't too bad working together, though. We got it no. we got it knocked out pretty quickly. So. No. All right, so what we're going to do now is some of this is going to be used for lunch tomorrow. Definitely. And, Pasta. Uh, Come on. Yeah, with fresh sausage yep. and re-seasoned sausage. So I'll keep those in the refrigerator, and then um, I'll get these par-freezed or um, pre-freezed, and then I will put them in a... Um, food saver and we will bag them up for later on that's right we decided just to leave this as ground for yeah i mean most of it was machine uh clean out and just a little leftover right so. right so yep. we didn't worry about bagging or not bagging casing it casing yeah it so up. we'll just leave that and i'll get that in the freezer and yeah so another successful day in the kitchen with mike and lisa that's right and uh Post baby, good job. Good job. We'll you. see you next time, guys. Yeah, it always makes a better sauce. Okay, everybody. So we are here with some store bought Italian sausage, and then the Italian sausage that we just made. And we've got T. That's my son-in-law over there. That's my daughter Jessica. That's Mike, of course. And then, of course, Mom, you met the last time. All right, so I'm going to go around, and I'm going to feed them. Did you check if it's too hot? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to burn y'all. She's going to burn her mouth. Uh, yeah. And then we'll taste nothing. All right, so tea. Mm -hmm. Let me taste, let me feel. No, it's good. Okay, tea. This is bite number one. Jess? This is number one. Make sure it's not too hot. I'm coming behind you, babe. Yeah. Oops, I should have went the other way. Okay. Babe, this is number one. 
And mom, this is number one. Mm. All right. Everybody good? Mm -hmm. Oh, wait, I'm going to take a bite too. <laughs> Even though I know. Of course. All right. That was number one. Here comes number two. <laughs> we need a Jesse, wine Jesse, I'm coming right? towards you. Poor D, I about <laughs> got it all over his face. It's okay. Come and bind you, baby. Yeah. All right, ready? Number two. Mm -hmm. And mama, number two. That's good. All right. So I need you to tell me. We'll start with mom. I don't know yet. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I'm just. Starting. All right, Jesse. Would you say one was better or two was better? Two. T. Two. Mike. Two. I think two. Yep. Y'all got it. That was all our homemade. Yep. Mm. So much more flavor. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So much more flavor. That's what we didn't like about the first one. Was it? It tasted good. Tea, you can unmask. <laughs> it tasted good, but it just didn't have enough oh, spices yeah. in it. Yeah. 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 So we Definitely just... much more bland. Yeah. yeah. All right, everybody. We want to thank you for joining us yet again. Appreciate and we'll it. see you on the next one. Bye. Bye.